consultant in PLS Hospital Kolkata. Uh, today we will share some time regarding what is fatty liver and uh, how concerned we should be about this particular disease. So what is fatty liver? This is basically accumulation of fat within the liver and the same can have multiple consequences once there is inflammation within the liver it can progress to something called an end stage liver disease in the form of cirrhosis. So should we be really bothered about this fatty liver? The answer is yes. Majority of the patient who has excess accumulation of fat within liver will not have any problem because of the same. The number can be as high as 8 out of 10. Why do we accumulate fat within liver? It is a simple equation between what we are consuming and what we are expending over years. If there is excess of accumulation, the same gets converted to fat and is stored in different body parts including liver. Purely deposition of fat within the liver is not toxic, it doesn't cause any damage, but it does cause damage if there is an inflammation which might happen in the form of a second gin. The source of inflammation might be multiple. One well known source is our gut bacteria. The gut bacteria which is present naturally within our gut can initiate a process of inflammation in those 20% of patients where the disease will actually progress. There will be inflammation, there will be healing from inflammation and subsequently there will be fibrosis or wound response. The end result being cirrhosis. How a normal person can know whether he has fatty liver or not? There is no specific symptom for fatty liver but if you are obese or in particular if you have truncal obesity which is more commonly seen in Asian people that is your abdomen is uh, bulged, you have fat within your stomach. If you are diabetic, if you have cholesterol related issues, if you have cardiac or kidney problem then you can also have fatty liver. Because there is no specific symptom related to fatty liver at least in the early stage there is no way by symptom alone where you can guess you have fatty liver, yes or no. So you need investigations for fatty liver and only then you will come to know whether you actually have it or not and more importantly whether that fat is causing damage to your liver, yes or no. The way to know is to do a simple ultrasound abdomen and some very simple blood investigations. Once we know that there is fatty liver, then comes the question whether it is causing damage to your liver or not. The ideal way to know is to do a liver biopsy, but majority of the patients will not have a liver biopsy. We have multiple blood investigations and something called a fibro scan or ARFI, which are basically modifications of the ultrasound by which we can predict whether you have damage within your liver or not, whether it is ongoing and what is the stage. Based on that, we can decide on various kinds of management. Now, to put these, these discussions into perspective and to add numbers to it, the prevalence of this disease in Western country can be as high as up to 30%. So just imagine if it is same for the Indian population, then probably we have about 45 crores of people who are having fatty liver today. Out of this, about 20% will probably progress to cirrhosis. If that is the situation, then maybe the number is as high as 9 crore, meaning potentially about 9 crore patient would require liver transplant, which is a staggering number. The same could not be handled by any healthcare system across the world, let alone India. So it is we, we have to be proactive and uh, we have to decide today whether we want our liver to be healthy or not. How do we keep our liver healthy and how do we get rid of fatty liver? The number one intervention that is well within the control of the patient or a person is to change his diet and to do regular exercise. Diet modification is simply to restrict your calorie intake. It can be uh, it's can, the diet that you will have will have everything in the form of uh, fat, carbohydrate and protein. It's not necessary that you have to be on a zero fat diet or you have to practice some kind of a fat diet to get rid of fatty liver. Whatever diet you are consuming, if it is a healthy and balanced diet, the same can be continued forever. But the calorie intake has to be restricted, meaning 
the energy input into your body has to be on the lower side the other aspect is to do exercise where you are actually expending the energy exercise can be in the form of aerobic exercise or popularly the cardio exercises which can be jogging running swimming cycling it can be in a gym it can be outside it can be in your house as well another form of exercise is anaerobic exercise which is basically a weight training either using a specific weight or using your own body everything causes expenditure of calorie everything causes a positive balance towards reduction of fat in your body and hopefully inflammation and fatty liver beyond that there are multiple medications there are many many medications which are being developed by the pharmaceutical companies and uh, over years maybe another next 5 or 6 years many of the medications will come to use but we have to remember that the medication probably like maybe diabetes or hypertension have to be taken for a very long time so these medications has to be safe they have to be effective and that's why they require a rigorous check and hence their approval in the market probably will take some time present day accepted medications are all oral they are simple to take and they have a minimal amount of side effect what you need to do is seek a proper medical advice and start medication as per advice of your doctor and please do follow up with the same so fatty liver is not something that can be ignored if you want your liver to be healthy if you have any of the mentioned problems that i already told if you are obese if you have diabetes if you have hypertension if you have cholesterol related issues then please seek medical advice you need some basic investigations to find out whether you are fatty liver or not if you have then please manage it appropriately thank you